In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA preseason games happening on October 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA preseason games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Celtics vs. Charlotte Hornets The Boston Celtics and Charlotte Hornets are set to face off in a preseason NBA game at the Spectrum Center. The Boston Celtics have had a strong preseason with a 4-1 record. Their recent addition of J. Ru Halliday and versatile big man Kristaps Porzingis has bolstered their already talented roster. In their last game, the Celtics secured a 123-110 home victory over the New York Knicks. Jason Tottenham led the way with 28 points and 8 rebounds, while Kristaps Porzingis could contributed 20 points and 8 rebounds. Boston displayed impressive 3-point shooting, making 23 of 52 attempts from beyond the arc. On the other hand, the Charlotte Hornets have struggled in recent preseason games, with a 2-2 record and a history of losing 10 of their last 11 preseason games. The Hornets ranked last in the league in offensive efficiency in the previous season and are hoping to improve with the addition of Alabama forward Brandon Miller, who was drafted as the number 2 overall pick. In their most recent preseason game, the Hornets earned a 117-115 home victory over the Oklahoma City Thunder. P.J. Washington was the standout performer with 31 points on 1-3 for 1-8 shooting. Terry Rozier added 19 points and 6 assists, while LaMelo Ball contributed 16 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. Considering the Celtics' strong preseason performance and the Hornets' recent struggles, it seems reasonable to favor the Boston Celtics in this matchup. Their solid defense and well-rounded play should give them the edge on the road, so the Boston Celtics to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In terms of statistics, the Boston Celtics have shown they can score with an average of 114 points per game, while their defense is reliable, allowing just 108 points per game. Jason Tottenham has been a key player, averaging 20 and a half points and 9 rebounds, and Peyton Pritchard has contributed 19 points and 4 assists. The Celtics have been shooting well from beyond the arc at 35.7% and from the free throw line at 80.2%. They have also been effective in defending against 3-point attempts, allowing just 35.5%. Their strong rebounding game, with an average of 48 rebounds per game, is another asset. On the other hand, the Charlotte Hornets have struggled to score consistently, averaging 106 points per game on 42.5% shooting. Defensively, they've allowed 108.7 points per game on 40.6% shooting. P.J. Washington has been a key contributor, averaging 17 points and 6 rebounds, and Terry Rozier has added 15 points and 4 rebounds. However, their 3-point shooting has been subpar at 26.4%, and they've struggled at the free throw line with a 70.9% success rate. While the Hornets have performed well in defending against three point attempts, allowing only 28.3%, their strong point has been their rebounding game, averaging 53.7 rebounds per game. Given the differences in team performance and playing style, it appears likely that this preseason game will result in a lower number of total points. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Pistons vs. Oklahoma City Thunder The Detroit Pistons are facing the Oklahoma City Thunder in an NBA preseason game at the Box Center. The Pistons are looking for a win to get above a .500 record in preseason play. However, they have lost five of their last six preseason games, which doesn't bode well for their current form. On the other hand, the Thunder are aiming for a win to finish the preseason with a 3-2 record. They have been more successful in recent preseason games, winning eight of their last 12. In terms of talent and overall team strength, the Thunder are clearly the better team. They have a roster filled with young players eager to earn playing time. Given the disparity in talent, it's reasonable to expect the Thunder to be favored in this game. However, it's important to note that the Pistons have had a week of rest and preparation leading up to this game, which could work in their favor. Additionally, the Pistons beat the Thunder in their last matchup a week ago, so they might have a psychological edge. 
The point spread in this preseason game is relatively high, and preseason games are often characterized by significant roster turnover and experimentation. In such circumstances, it can be risky to lay a lot of points on the favored team. Considering the factors mentioned, the Detroit Pistons to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Now, let's look at the statistics. The Detroit Pistons have been averaging 127 points per game on 51.1% shooting, but they've allowed an average of 127.5 points per game on 43% shooting. Marvin Bailey III is leading the team with 17 points and 7 rebounds, while Stanley Umut is contributing 15 points and 2 assists. Killian Hayes is another double-digit scorer, and Jaden Ivey is grabbing 4 rebounds. The Pistons have been efficient from beyond the arc, shooting at a rate of 40.3%. 3%, but their free throw percentage stands at 69.6%. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot 38.8% from beyond the arc and have shown a strong rebounding game, averaging 49.5 rebounds per game. On the other hand, the Oklahoma City Thunder have been averaging 121.5 points per game on 46.3% shooting, while allowing an average of 117 points per game on 47.5% shooting. Chet Holmgren leads the team with an average of 18 points and 5.3 rebounds, and Jalen Williams is contributing 16 points and 2 2.3 assists. Lugenstort is the third double-digit scorer, and Isaiah Joe is grabbing 1.7 rebounds. The Thunder have been effective from beyond the arc, shooting at a rate of 37.9%, but their free throw percentage is 76.3%. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot 38.4% from beyond the arc and have averaged 45.8 rebounds per game. Considering the offensive output of both teams and the lackluster defense displayed in preseason games, it seems reasonable to expect this game to go over the projected total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Chicago Bulls The Minnesota Timberwolves are facing the Chicago Bulls in an NBA preseason game at the United Center. The Timberwolves are aiming to finish the preseason with a perfect 5-0 record. Impressively, they have won 10 of their last 12 preseason games, showcasing their recent success. On the other hand, the Chicago Bulls are seeking a win to close out the preseason with a 2-3 record. The Bulls have also had a relatively strong preseason history, winning 11 of their last 15 preseason games. This game could be a bit unpredictable, as it's likely to feature many backup players. The Chicago Bulls have struggled offensively in three of their four preseason games, and it's uncertain whether that trend will change, especially in a contest that might not feature key starters. In contrast, the Minnesota Timberwolves have shown impressive form during the preseason, both offensively and defensively. The Timberwolves' undefeated record in this year's preseason, combined with their strong preseason history, suggests they have a good chance of continuing their winning streak. Given the likely pick'em line for this game, the Timberwolves could be considered a hot hand to ride. So the Minnesota Timberwolves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Now, let's take a look at the statistics. The Minnesota Timberwolves have been averaging 118 and a half points per game on 48.8% shooting, while allowing an average of 104 and a half points per game on 40.7% shooting. Nasri leads the team with an average of 17 points and 3.7 rebounds, and Carl Anthony Towns is contributing 17 points and 2 assists. Anthony Edwards is the third double-digit scorer, and Luca Garza is grabbing 4.3 rebounds. The Timberwolves have been effective from beyond the arc, shooting at a rate of 41.1%, and their free throw percentage stands at 73.7%. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot 32.4% from deep and have shown strong rebounding with an average of 46.8 rebounds per game. The Chicago Bulls have been averaging 110 points per game on 43 0.5% shooting, while allowing an average of 113 points per game on 48.5% shooting. Zach Levine leads the team with an average of 17 points and 3.3 rebounds, and DeMar DeRozan is contributing 14 points and 2 assists. Kobe White is the third double-digit scorer, and Nikola Busevic is grabbing six rebounds. The Bulls have been relatively effective from beyond the arc, shooting at a rate of 37.5%, and their free throw percentage stands at 79%. Defensively, they've allowed their opponents to shoot 34.4% from deep and have displayed strong rebounding with an average of 47.3 rebounds per game. Considering the offensive output of both teams in the preseason and the likelihood of seeing many backup players on the court, it seems reasonable to expect this game to stay below the set total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.